What's up guys, it's Rex here. Today I'm gonna to show you on how to get this tan joggers invisible torso outfit just like you see in the thumbnail. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first part and I'll show you on how to get the tan joggers. Hey guys, are you looking to buy an account from Charlie Smurfing? You can get an account for your Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4 and PS5. It's a simple process. Go ahead and choose the console you're on and then select the account you want. Once you select the account you want, you can then just go into the description and you can see what you are getting on that account. Once you like it, you can then just add it to cart. Once you do add your account to cart, click on view cart and then you can use my discount code SDRAX for 5% off. Now make the payment. Once you do make the payment, you guys will get your account instantly. It's instant delivery at checkout and your email. You can also go to their review page on Trustpilot and let them know your boy SDRAX sent you and make sure to give them a five star. So I hope you guys did enjoy and let's just go ahead and get back into the video. For the tan joggers, you will need to go to this exact location of where I'm at. We're gonna be using this clothing store and this stunt race. If you don't see the stunt race on the map, just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to preferences, scroll down to matte blimp options, click on jobs, scroll down to stunt race, and if it does say hide like this, then press right on the D-pad once to set it to show, and it should be right here in front of the clothing store. You can then back out of hide jobs, back out of matte blimp options, back out of preferences and scroll up to the interaction menu to find register as a boss and make sure you register as a CEO. When you have registered as a CEO, pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve CEO, click on management, click on style and scroll through the CEO style until you find the warlord outfit, which will look like this. When you're wearing the warlord outfit, put away your interaction menu, walk into the blue stunt race circle and press right on the D pad to enter. When you load inside of the job, you don't need to change anything inside of the settings. You can then just hit confirm settings and launch the job on your own. When you have launched the job, it's going to show you motorcycles. Scroll through the motorcycles for at least a few seconds like this and then fully quit the job. You will see that you load back into a session with the outfit you had on before the warlord, which is exactly what you want. You're just going to run inside the clothing store as fast as you can, either at the front counter or the top section right here. Press right on the D-pad and you're going to sit here about maybe five to ten seconds until it does kick you out it could take a little bit longer but once it does kick you out then you will see that you are wearing the warlord outfit just like this now all you need to do is click pull up your interaction menu click on secure serve ceo and hit retire and you're still wearing the outfit and it won't disappear so now let's create the outfit and the thumbnail to make this outfit, you should still be wearing the tan joggers. Just head over here to your tops, scroll down until you find bomber jackets, which will be on slot 16, and scroll all the way to the bottom on slot 75 and equip the classic S and bomber. If the bomber jacket is closed, you can then just back out of your tops, pull up your interaction menu, click on appearance, scroll down until you find jacket, and if it does say closed like this, press right on the D-pad once to set it to open, and then you can go back into your tops, Scroll down until you find designer t-shirts on slot 34 and then just equip the black print t-shirt on slot 59. And when you have this bomber jacket and the black print t-shirt, that's all for your tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the tan joggers, but walk over here to your accessories, click on gloves on slot 7 and just equip the, the white cotton gloves on slot 53. After you have bought the white cotton gloves, that's all for your accessories. So head over here to your shoes, click on skate shoes on slot three and look for the brown skate shoes on slot six. When you do have the brown skate shoes, back out of the shoe section and then take off any head accessories that your character has. And when your outfit looks exactly like mine, go up to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, save your outfit on any slot that you want, back out of edit saved outfits, scroll through the clothing to find highest coveralls on slot 13 and then scroll down from slot nine through slot 12, equip one of these outfits with a toxic mask back up at the front counter and we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. After you make it to the pier and find the telescope, do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched, pull up your interaction menu, go to appearance, equip the outfit we saved at the clothing store, which will look like this, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over with your outfit, and all we're going to do now is just go to a gun store. After you're at the gun store, walk over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits, save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. But after you do save your outfit, back into the tops and we're gonna start up a job. So hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job called a Titan of a job and fully start up that mission. 
And just like that, when you load into the job, you will have the toxic mask. Just go back over here to your tops and once again, save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. Back out of your tops. And now you can pull up your phone and just quit the job through your phone. Okay guys, now that you're back in a public or an invite only session, you're gonna equip an outfit with a belt. So if you already have an outfit saved with a cop belt or a paramedic belt, you can equip that outfit right now. If you don't, go inside the gun store, go over here to the outfit section, scroll down to Diamond Casino Heist on slot 51, and you can go to Group A Sex Gear on slot 20, equip one of these outfits with this type of belt, or you can go to Maintenance on slot 18, equip one of these outfits with this type of belt, or for the one that I would probably use out of the other two, is the Prison Guards on slot 15, and you can equip one of these outfits with this type of belt. You will need an outfit with a belt if you do want to keep your torso invisible, but once you have equipped an outfit with a belt, we're going to do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for It's a G thing. You can bookmark that for the merge glitch, but for me, I'm going to do the Heist Department merge, and I will get back to you when I have made it to my apartment. As soon as you make it to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and then go up here to the heist planning board. Out of all the five heist, you can choose whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter, but for me, I'm doing the flake job. And if you're going to copy me and do the flake job, complete the first mission, which is called scope out and go to the second mission, which is Karuma and launch it up. After you load into one of the apartment heist, make sure you have your heist clothing set to player saved outfits. You can then hit confirm settings and invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. After someone joins, launch it up. Now that you're here on your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to where you did save the outfit, which will look like this, and hit ready to play. All you have to do is whenever you're inside of the job, wait until you're, until you're able to pull up your phone, and then you can just quit the job through your phone. When you make it back into a public or an invite only session, you're going to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Go ahead and get inside that car. Pull up your interaction menu. You can register as a boss, register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. Pull up your interaction menu up again, click on Secure Surf CEO or Motorcycle Club, click on Management, click on Style, and on CEO Style or MC Style, scroll one time to the left, then one time to the right back to None, hop into the car, and then you will see that your torso is invisible and you also have the belt that you wanted to merge over to your outfit. What we're going to do now is just go over here to the mask door so then we can get the mask and helmet for our outfit. The mask you will need is going to be over here in the black clava section on slot 3. You can go ahead and either equip the brown knit black clava, which is on slot 71, or the one that I'm going to use for this video is going to be the Perseus black clava, which is on slot 61. So you can use one of those two masks, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Perseus black clava mask. After you do equip the mask you like, back out of the mask section, walk over here to your hats, scroll down to combat helmets on slot 23, and you're just going to scroll down until you do find the black quadlands. And when you have found the black quadlands, which is on slot 45, you should see that the mask merges with the helmet just like this. And when you back out, the thermal will probably come on. Just pull up your interaction menu, go to your appearance, go to your accessories, and then go to helmets, and then you can deactivate the thermal. It's that easy. But yeah, that's pretty much it for your outfit. You can just go over here to the tops, the hats, or the mask, hit edit saved outfits, save your outfit on any slot that you want, and yeah, I hope you guys do like this outfit. Here's a better look of the outfit in the pause menu in case you are wondering. So I hope you guys do like this white, tan, and brown outfit that I did show you on how to make for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.